forming algebraic expressions. You've got a sentence here, two more than x. Well, that's two add x. So you'd write that as two add x, or if you want, x add two, it's the same thing. At five lots of b. Lots of means times, multiply. Five lots of b means five times b. You write it like this, five b. Right. Whenever you've got a number or a letter or letter and letter together, you don't bother putting the time symbol, right? but there is an invisible time symbol. Right, similar question down here, look, seven times x, seven multiplied by x, seven lots of x, you write seven x. Here, x times y, x, y. Right, four less than y. So what you do, you take the y, and it's four less y take by 4. Okay, just be careful, you don't do 4 take by y. If you had that in a different way, so let's say if I said 4 less than 6, that's actually 6 take by 4. Right, 3 shared by m. So if you had, for example, 10 pounds, and you shared it between two people, shared by two people, that's 10 divided by two. So three divided by M, that's three divided by M. You can write it like this, or you can write it like this, three divided by M. So sharing means divide, divide, divide. Explain this, explain this, remember, when you times, uh, you don't bother putting the time symbol. Anything else, like A plus B, well, it's just A plus B. A minus B, you just write A minus B. Right, the only confusing one that we've done so far is this one here, for less than Y. We know less means take away, but you've got to get this right way around, you need to understand the sentence. This one I've done just a while ago, I said x times y, but what if I said times z? x times y times z. So that would be x, y, z. x times y times z. If it was like this, for example, uh, x times two. The way you'd write it like this, rather than write it like this, x2, uh, you tend to put the number before the letter. Okay, this is fine, but it's better to write it like this, 2 times x, number before the letter. So, if I go back to this one now, x times y times, let's make that into a 2 this time, a 2. So, x times y times 2, number first, you put the number first. That's 2xy, so you can't see that very well. That'll be, obviously x times y is xy, times by two, you put the two there. Number before the letters. Now if you want to, you can pause the video and have a think about um, how we got from this side, from the sentences, to these expressions. They're called algebraic expressions, all of these. I'll just circle them for you. These are algebraic expressions. Right, these ones are a little bit more tricky. Right, x multiplied x times by 3. So you write 3x for that. Remember, number comes before the letter. And there's an invisible time. Whenever it's multiplied, it kind of disappears, but you know there's an invisible time sign there. So x multiplied by 3, 3x. And then add 7. Then you add 7 to all of that. Right, this one, I'm gonna, you've seen this one, but this one is slightly different. It's 
m at 5, or you could write 5 plus m, same thing. And then you're multiplying everything here by 3. So you multiply everything, all of that, so put a bubble around it. We don't call it bubble, we call it brackets. Multiply it by 3. You can write it like this if you want to, but it's better to put the number in front of the bracket. So that's 3 multiplied by m plus 5. And once again, there's an invisible time sign between the number and the bracket. There's an invisible time sign. So it's 3. 3 multiplied by all of that. All of that. Here it is. But this is better, this one. I prefer this one. Right, this one here. X squared. X squared, that means X squared. That's what it means, squaring. Little two there. And then add seven to all that. Right, this one here. X at three. Or you can write 3 at x. And then we're going to square all of this. All of this. So we're going to square all of that. There you go. Right, I'm going to show you a mistake that people make with this one. Remember, this is correct. That's why I've ticked it. Right, here's the mistake. People say m add 5. m add 5, which is fine. And then times by 3. But if you think about bid mass, if you remember bid mass, in bid mass you do the times in first, don't you? So it's automatically going to do the times in first. 5 times 3 is 15. So all of that is 15, isn't it? So it'll be m plus 15. That becomes, that becomes m plus 15. Uh, uh, clearly, that's the wrong answer. It's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be... Okay, the mistake that we made here is that we just times... Um, when we multiplied by 3, we only times the 5 here. That times by 3 is meant to be all of that, which is, which is what I've got here. Right? All of this, which is surrounded with brackets, times by 3. That means 3 times everything. But remember, this one's better. Okay, This is correct, this is correct, but this looks better. You always put the number in front of the bracket. Right, what might be a good idea is um, to pause the video and have a think about how these expressions uh, were constructed from the sentences, how these algebraic expressions were made from these sentences.